great many conundrums. Debate. In a television studio in Washington on August 28th, 1963, a small group from Hollywood, the American California joined achieved, to give their own the personal the American news Negro. of the civil rights gathering which took place on that day. That the American dream has been achieved at the expense of the American Negro. And one of our problems is that there's been a kind of denial it is better to settle these matters in the courts than on the, uh, on the streets. The motion before the House tonight is, the American dream is at the expense of the American Negro. Words often get in the way of what we mean to say. Too darn outspoken. And she's always raising questions. She never keeps quiet. He'll take his chair and the debate will begin. I think we all at this table, and many more people than that, share that dream. I became interested in the civil rights struggle out of a necessity to survive. Well, civil rights are something that uh, I inherited, or at least the struggle for civil rights. Like most Americans, I expressed my support of civil rights largely by talking about it at cocktail parties, I'm afraid. We are all, as human beings, filled with anguish and hatred and fear. Never as intensely, however, as it exists today. And the times ahead are just as uh, as difficult as the times behind. But if we do not achieve this dream, we have no future at all. Do you believe we will achieve it? I certainly believe it. The American community almost everywhere you go, a great many conundrums, uh, treats him with the kind of unction. Why should the black man need some legislation to prove that he's a human being? The only country in which it is necessary. This is, this is the frustrating thing. For the kind of satisfaction and this country has not realized its potential. It has not even begun to scratch its surface. Oh, and posturing carefully for his flagellations of us. If you're good, we may let you become president. In a time that is so urgently now. That indeed, uh, quite properly, uh, commands the contempt. Uh, democracy, freedom, justice, equality, and all that stuff that they teach us in school. In the ebb and flow of human events, these things come and go. Conflicts of this kind come Why and go. Why didn't he say this uh, when all of these uh, sit-ins and How freedom are rides we going were very peacefully uh, the going on in the south and in other parts of the north? The kind of that are perpetually visited on members of a minority race. One thing you might do, Mr. Buckley, is let them vote in Mississippi. Some sort of radical solutions on the basis of which the true problem is excused. See, as long as someone is giving you something, he can always take it back. A great many conundrums. What, in fact, is it that we Americans ought to do? That the best way to solve the problem is complete separation. The, 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 the basis for a struggle uh, and eliminate the grievance. What he does is destroy a truth and invent a history. Once we change the structure you know, under which people live, people began to act towards each other. In a more decent a country fashion. of our own where we can go and stand on our own feet. It's all better to settle these matters. Not have to continue going to court or we have some on politician from this street for another 100, 102 years to prove that we're not going to words for what words are worth. And, and those who are good and beautiful words. Don't dream this dream and wake up to it. Because this dream was put into very precise words. These are the times that try men's souls. Never as intensely, however, as it exists today. Such patriot and a summer soldier. This crisis shrank from the surface of his country. We face that for the hours and hours of the man. People learn to love and thanks. It cannot be met by repression. See, as long as someone is giving you something, he can always take it back. You see what uh, the great many commanders do. You see what 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 the great many commanders do. Let me put it this way. That from a very literal point of view, the harbors and the ports and the railroads of the country. The economy, especially of the southern states, could not conceivably be what it has become if they had not had, and do not still have indeed, and for so long, so many generations, cheap labor. I am stating very seriously, and this is not 
an overstatement. Ebb and flow. This thing has got to get some Oh, it always, there's always an ebb and flow in history. One country is up, one country no, is but down. One it's been cozy to think of it, Marlon, as the Negro question. Right. It was the Negro oh. dream. It I don't was, disagree with that. You know, uh, 